Lila. You get a hot dog. Yeah. It's real life. There you go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren and I have a brand new what I eat in a day on the WW Blue plan for you today. If you guys are new, I've been following the WW program for about the last two years now. I've mostly been on the Blue plan. I have tried out the other two plans and I actually just did a whole video explaining my experience and tips for all three plans. I'll link that one in the iCard above. But I have for the month of October now switched back to WW Blue. It's my tried and true and my favorite of the three plans just based on the way that I like to eat. So I'm back on WW Blue, I get 37 points a day, and I do have a goal also for drinking 100 ounces of water a day. I'm on my Tervis number two of the morning. It is late, guys. It's really late for kicking off a video and for breakfast. It's already like 9.45, and my three-year-old daughter, Lila, and I, we're just taking a cozy, lazy morning. It's been raining all week, basically. Last night, we had really bad thunderstorms. So this morning when she woke up, she came and crawled into bed with me and we were just snuggling. We watched a little show and just like had a lazy morning because some days you need a lazy morning. She doesn't have preschool today, so I took advantage of the cuddle time since I don't get it as often. But now it is late and we're both very hungry and I have something fun I wanna share with you guys for breakfast. So I'm gonna be making some French toast for breakfast this morning. I shared with you guys in her first day of school vlog way back in September. She really likes to eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches when she's at school. And what I do is I cut them with like a heart-shaped cookie cutter. So they're a good size for her. She can hold it and it's fun. Hopefully she eats it when it's cute and cut into a heart shape. But I've been saving all of the scraps from cutting out the heart because I didn't want to throw away a bunch of sandwich and I cut them into little squares. I saved them in a little Ziploc bag and had them in the freezer. So I just poured them out now. They're defrosting a little bit and I'm going to turn these into peanut butter jelly French toast. This is such a fun idea for kids. It's less wasteful when you make them peanut butter jellies if you have kids that like the crust cut off or you're cutting out um cute cookie cutter shapes. So this way, look at all of that sandwich I would have wasted if each time I would have just tossed the leftover sandwich. Now we can turn them into a fun little French toast bake. So to get this French toast bake going, I have two eggs, a splash of milk, and then I just did a little sprinkle of salt and cinnamon. Now, depending on the amount of time you have, you could just take the individual pieces of French toast, dip them in the egg batter, and then pop them on the stove in a pan, just like you'd make regular French toast. But my favorite way to do this when it's all pieced up like this is kind of doing a French toast bake, which ends up being almost like a bread pudding. So good. So I'm just gonna transfer our little PBJ bites into an oven safe pan, pour the egg wash on top, and then you bake it in the oven. You could do a bigger batch in a large round cake pan. You could do like a loaf pan. I think today we're gonna use a muffin tin and do little individual French toast muffins. Okay, Lila's gonna help with this part. All right, we wanna fill the tins up about three quarters of the way. Push them in there. These are great because once we make them, we'll have little French toast casseroles prepped for a little breakfast prep this week too. I'm just gonna pour the egg mixture over and fill it up. Oh, that's what you're gonna do, huh, Mama? Yeah, baby, that is what I'm gonna do. All right, so I've just pressed um, all of the French toast pieces into the egg mixture. Make sure you saturate them. And now these are gonna go into the oven at 350. I think they're gonna take probably about 20 minutes. This is my first time trying this out with the muffin style tin, so we'll see how it works. I do think this would work out so well to do a WW more friendly version of. I'm just using up my kids' leftover PBJ scraps, so it's a little bit hard to figure out points for those, but you could easily use a lower point bread, use PB Fit powder to make a lower point peanut butter or a sugar-free jam, and make up maybe just a couple PBJ sandwiches. If you're not someone who's just like saving kids scraps, you could easily just make up like three peanut butter jelly sandwiches and cut it into pieces and recreate this. Well, our French toast is gonna take a little while and uh, that tiny one is not having waiting. So I'm actually gonna make up some regular French toast for us for breakfast and then we'll have these prepped and ready and we can use them as snacks or breakfast 
another day this week. So I'll still share with you guys how they turned out, but I'm gonna make up some regular French toast, which is the same egg mixture that I just showed you. And I am using the Sara Lee Artisano bread, which is three points a slice. So it comes in a little bit heavier on points, but now that I'm back on the blue plan, that egg wash mixture is zero points. It's just two eggs, which are both zero on the WW blue plan and a splash of milk, which isn't even gonna count enough for points, salt and cinnamon. So I'm just gonna dip some bread slices in that and cook them up on a pan. And then I'll share with you guys how we're gonna top them and serve them when I finish them. All right, and then to top it off, you guys have seen me do this with pancakes before. I have one banana sliced on top, and this is some sugar-free um, caramel sundae syrup from Smucker's. I also would normally come in with some of these pecans, crush them up and add those on top, which is really good, but I'm gonna skip the points on those today. And also we're just hungry. It's late this morning, so I gotta get eating something. Look at how cute these turned out, guys. These little French toast muffins. They're so cute. They'd be like the perfect size for a little breakfast with fruit or yogurt on the side. You could definitely add toppings to these if you wanted. Um, I think mixing up some PB2 powder and drizzling it over the top for a little peanut butter drizzle would be great since this is a peanut butter jelly flavored one. Lila wanted to try one for snacks, so I'm gonna get her set up with one of these, just heat it up a little bit. I think they'll heat up really well in the air fryer because they'll stay crispy on the outside and not get too mushy like they would in the microwave. So I'm gonna do that for her. I'm not quite hungry yet. It is noon, but we ate breakfast so late, so I'll probably have a later lunch today um, and skip a morning snack, which is something I've been doing recently. I've been trying to do more like five or six eating times throughout the day, um, including meals and snacks, but we got a late start today. So I'll be back with lunch in a little while. Time for lunch. Okay. Yesterday on my Instagram, I actually shared a really yummy, easy recipe. Crock pot salsa chicken is so simple. All I did was in my crock pot, I threw in two chicken breasts, a cup of chicken broth, about two cups of a fresh pico de gallo style mild salsa, and one can of black beans together. That is a zero point mixture per serving on the WW blue plan. And that way, when I prep it in the crock pot, it makes a lot of it so you have meal prep ready for the week. We can use it for tacos, burritos, salads, or just eat it by itself with some other sides, and that's many meals ready for the week. Today for lunch, I'm making mine into a burrito bowl. For my burrito bowl, I have one cup of brown rice. I had made some of this the other night to go with the salsa chicken, so I had some left over. So I just heated up that along with um, about a cup of the salsa chicken. Then to top it today, I have some shredded lettuce, two tablespoons of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. I'm using the Faye plain non-fat Greek yogurt as a replacement for sour cream. And then for some good flavor, I added some of these Trader Joe's rolled corn tortilla chips in the chili lime flavor. These are such a great addition to burrito bowls or salads to add just a little bit of spice and flavor and a little crunch, kind of like a crouton. So that is my lunch today. So the salsa chicken is zero points, but the rice plus the other toppings are gonna to make this a 10 point burrito bowl for lunch. And then also this is like, I've been so thirsty today, guys. I'm already on like my fourth tumbler of water and I'm pretty sure the Tervis cups hold 32 ounces. Um, mine's not quite filled all the way and I have ice in it, but Anyway, I am gonna mix it up just a little bit. This time around, I'm gonna add some of this Blue Raspberry Crystal Light Liquid Drops. This helps to flavor up your water. It's such a good mix up to plain water when you're trying to get a lot of water in. And it just helps me drink more water when I have options to flavor it every now and then. So, yep. Yeah. Anyway, that's my lunch. We're gonna eat and then head to the park. Hey guys, okay, so Lila and I went to the park for a little bit and now we are actually at Costco. I have to run in and pick up some more fresh produce for the week. That's kind of the only thing I'm out of. My freezer is still stocked with um, a couple different kinds of proteins and meats and I have tons of like pasta and rice, that kind of like the grain kind of stuff stocked up. So we are like out of fruit though, like completely out of fruit. Um, I used the last banana this morning and I used like a can of mandarin oranges to get Lila some fruit at lunchtime. So we need to go run and grab a couple things. Little Miss talked me into stopping for a snack. Lila, you get a hot dog. Yeah. She loves the Costco hot dogs, guys. I love that so you can get one of their jumbo hot dogs and a drink for $1.50. So I just got a diet Pepsi and she is eating her hot dog. I did share the hot dog with her. I had half of one, so I think that comes in at 10 points for the WW Blue Plan, and I topped it with yellow mustard, which is zero points. So there you go, half a hot dog and a Diet Pepsi is my snack today. We're like on a eh, day, guys, but 
It's real life. There you go. We had Costco hot dogs and we're shopping and it got late and we got hungry. So anyway, we will get all the stuff put away when we get home. I'm probably gonna like vacuum the house and just pick up real quick and then we'll catch up with you guys to make dinner. We're gonna get dinner started and Lila has been asking for what all week? What have you been Mommy asking for? Mommy mac and cheese. Mommy mac and cheese. So Stinker is a little bit picky. She's not a huge craft mac and cheese person, but she loves when I make mommy mac and cheese. Normally our indulgent kind is in the crock pot, but another one that she really likes too is our slightly healthier twist on a good gooey mac and cheese. And that's our butternut squash mac and cheese. Do you have a butternut squash? Yeah. So we are going to make some butternut squash mac and cheese. I do have an old video so bear with the quality but it's a great video that shows exactly step by step all the ingredients and how to make it so i'll link that in the icard above and i thought i would just film some clips of lila and i cooking dinner for you guys never up never down never up like a theme in a song clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool But if I fall, I would get up again topper sprinkle it all over the top and then we're just gonna pop it in the oven and bake it off till the top is all melty good sprinkling You excited for your mac and cheese? Blowing on it? Thumbs up. Look at you, cleaned up that bowl. You love it, huh? It's a good one. Hey guys, it's a lot later now, but I think it's time for some dessert. So if you've been following my points, I'm actually at 38 out of 37 of my points for the day, but now that I've switched from the green plan to the blue plan, I've decided each day my goal is actually to eat my daily points plus four to five of my weekly points spread out on every single day throughout the week instead of in one large clump. That way I'm eating a bit more calories each day on the blue plan because sometimes I tend to under eat on the blue plan, but the blue plan is the way I really like to eat. And I feel like I do a good balance of zero point foods with point foods. I eat a lot more lean protein when I'm on the blue plan. 
one. So anyway, that's what I'm trying this month. I'm trying to eat multiple times a day, like five to six meals and snacks, as well as eat all of my points plus an extra four to five points, which equal all of my weeklies for the week. So I just refilled my Tervis for the last time tonight. I'm way over my 100 ounces of water today, guys. I've been so thirsty, but for a little dessert bite, I'm gonna be having one of these Trader Joe's mini hold the cone ice cream cones in the pumpkin ginger flavor. These are the fall seasonal flavors from Trader Joe's. They're little ice cream cones. They come in at four points on any of the WW plans and they're just that perfect sweet bite at the end of the night. They're not too heavy, not too much. Just a great few bite little dessert. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys for following along my what I eat in a day on the WW Blue Plan. I'm gonna be ending my day at 42 out of my 37 points, which is actually still in the point range that I've given myself because I'm splitting my weeklies up over all of the days of the week. So that's an extra five points I'll deduct from my weekly points. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos. Hit the like if you enjoyed today's what I eat in a day and until next time, bye. bye. I always